Hello guys, welcome to DFT Code Word YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about the calculation of uh, phonon properties. Uh, we are going to learn uh, how to calculate these phonon dispersion curves and we got a simple example of ALAS. Uh, for the phonon calculations, you uh, first have uh, to prepare the input files as uh, the simple SCF file. You can see that. Uh, in the control switch just SCF calculation and prefix plus the pseudo potential path so as the outdier and in the system switch you just provide the previous lattice index and cell dimensions because it is cubic face centered cube uh, so the uh, single cell dimension will be enough number of atoms number of types of atoms and cut off energy for wave functions convergence threshold and atomic species as AL and AS with atomic their atomic weights so as with their pseudo potentials. So atomic pos positions are given as this. The important thing is about the K points. You can, pro you can uh, give the input as uh, the coordinates and these are the coordinates two K points. These are number of points and these are the coordinates of these K points and this is the weight of these k points uh, it is important that you can mention these k points as given in this example so as also you can write it in automatic format just as i am writing and that is unshifted k points so both both methods will work no problem with that uh, you can check your calculations by providing uh, k points just pro i provided in automatic or or you can also provide these k points as provided previously like this in coordinates form so this is our first file first of all we have to run the scf file and after the scf file you have to check the uh, phone on file uh, in phonon file the convergence threshold for phonon calculation is given this prefix should be same as in the SCF file so it should be same because it, it will read data from outdire so outdire will be same uh, and so as the prefix so the important thing is the Q points the Q grid so we are using uh, the Q grid of 4 cross 4 cross 4 for the current calculations for simplicity however if you want to do some serious calculation you have to uh, use the converge Q grid rather than going a random uh, Q grid so after that uh, we will run about uh, the uh, Q to R file uh, what will this file do the q to r will convert the uh, calculated dynamical matrices to real space and it will convert all the dynamical matrices or it will ex ex extract the uh, force constants from uh, dynamical matrices dynamical matrices will be calculated with the help of ph.x program i will literally uh, make you learn about that and after that the fourth file will be maddyne.in so maddyne.in will be prepared like this we have to apply simple acoustic sum rule and the atomic masses of our atoms if you are doing single uh, elemental calculations you will just have to apply or provide single uh, mass or if you have triatomic atom or triatomic material so you have to apply or provide a mass free after this so this is this will be the file of force constant which which, which will be uh, the same as extracted from q to r you can see that alas 444fc and that file will be uh, used in the next step and from this file it will uh, convert the frequency file and name that this is important that you can also provide uh, Q band here or you can uh, provide these Q grid asymmetry directions uh, extracted by your uh, physical system so here we are using these points gamma XW gamma 
L. How can we extract these points? You can just simply open your uh, crystal system uh, in Xcristen or any of the uh, crystal visualization software and then you can extract your uh, points and their coordinates as well. So here we are simply applying in Q-band form. We have to apply gamma, X, W, L and the weight of the points. So we can also provide coordinates by extracting uh, those points from the x Christian software. So this will be the fourth one and after that we have to run phonon files. Phonon density of states will be uh, computed with the help of this file. It is almost same to the uh, mad dying file but just by just this is the file for DOS and it will um, give us the file like uh, this. So you can see that ALAS uh, force constants are uh, being used here as well. So we, we are going to run these files by simply opening, opening the terminal and uh, apply the command like I am writing it. I'm running it on eight cores. So I'm using Quantum Espresso 7.30 and SCF file will be the first one to be done. And for SCF file, we are going to use the pw.x executable. So alas.scf.in and alas.scf.out. So just applying simply enter, it will run and the job is done. You can see that outdire is created so as the so as the SCF dot out. Yes, SCF dot out. This is your SCF dot out. And you can see that the SCF dot out is created and you have the energy and the highest total energy as given by this value so as the highest occupied energy levels in the, in the current study. I told you that after that we are simply uh, going to find are going to run the alas.ph.in file. For this file, we are going to use the executable from our bin folder, ph.x. So this is our input file and this is the name of our output file. So it will, it, what it will be do, it will be doing uh, the calculations for dynamical matrices. If you're looking at the dynamical matrices, you can see that uh, it will create the dynamical matrices. Uh, the dyn0 file will give you the how many number of dynamical matrices are going to be calculated. So eight dynamical matrices will be calculated. You can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now it's completed. So eight dynamical matrices are calculated in uh, after the successful completion of this this job. Now, as I have told you earlier, that we are going to uh, run or extract or convert. I should say convert these uh, con these calculated dynamical matrices to force constants with the help of Q to R. Q2R code. So this Q2R code, Q2R file will give us the force constants. So for this we are going to use the executable available in our bin folder as Q2R.x and that is for input file that is Q2R.in and Q2R.out. You will see that after I press enter, you will get q2r.out file as well as the force constants file just as this. Just see that you, you got you got this these force constants. 
and this this file will be used in the proceeding steps and after that we are going to simply apply the madine.x executable to to get the phonon dispersion curves it will it will give us the phonon dispersion curves file as madine.freak.gp file so those are our those will be the our phonon dispersion curves our phonon property simply so i have to apply this file madine.in and madine.out and press enter pressing this enter and you see that the job is completed and we got this file alasfreak.gp so these are our these are our phonon dispersion curves so i just simply rename it my command alas.freak.gp as i should say pdc dot that that is phonon dispersion curves dot that and i'm copying it you can see that i got this phonon dispersion curve dot gp and dot that file i just simply uh, copied i have simply copied it why i have, I have copied it because it it might be possible that after running the phonon density of states calculation the scale of this scale of this scale of the file might get changed so the q direction or symmetry line will should be same or exact so after that i simply go and run the phonon density of states with the same executable that is phonon dos dot in and phonon dos dot out it will give us the phonon density of states yes you can see that we got the phonon density of state as well uh, this is the frequency axis this is total density of states and this is the partial density of states that's the partial phonon density of states i should say so i can simply uh, open the plotting tool that is xm gray so you can use um, your preferred plotting tool like uh, uh, origin or gnu plot whatever you want as i, I have applied simple commands so it, it is as has uh, multiple modes i just applied single data so this data will be killed to plot so i should select block data because in in our phonon dispersion curves dot dead file we can see that we have multiple columns so one versus the six so i can apply one by one in by block data simply selecting this one versus two three four five six seven so if i apply one versus two i will get the first mode first versus second column first versus third column first versus fourth column so as fifth one and sixth one so as the seventh one so these are our for non dispersion curves i can simply apply the command nxy from here to get the plot of these at once i can simply select these and and give them the color as this so these are the on on dispersion curves i can see that the final value for q grade or q direction is 4.19 so i can i should put it over here to stop 4.19 so you can see that so this is our for on dispersion curves for alas similarly we can we can plot our phonon density of states as well by applying sm grace we'll get that oh, i i should i should rename it as well i can access this data so i will i will 
rather copy it first by cp el as dot ph dos as p dos dot that so now again xm grace and i will access this data by import you can see that i will simply block data if i am going to do this one versus two you can see that this is total density of states total phone on density of states and by applying this this is the density of states for el and this column one versus four will give you the density of states of as so this is your density of states total phone on density of states it is the phone on density of states for first item that is al in this case and this is the density of states for as atom so this is the phone on density of states you can see that this scale is almost about 420 check that yes so you can see that 430 so we can label these axes accordingly and this is in centimeter inverse we can see as given in the data just like just like that the frequency unit is centimeter inverse a per centimeter so so i hope you have learned this Thank you.